A smart commander knows two key factors about the battlefield. They must know the effect of range and movement on combat. And they must know how to utilize strong mixes of units to create effective tactical forces. Weapons are less accurate at long ranges, but long-range weapons like rifles still have an advantage over short-range weapons like submachine guns. Closing the combat range will increase the rate of fire and accuracy of infantry weapons, making close-ranged combat more lethal. Submachine guns excel at close-range combat. However, you have to be careful when closing ground on the enemy. Combined arms is about finding versatile sets of weapons that work well in attack or defense against a variety of threats. Combined arms tactics are usually built around two to three different types of anti-infantry or anti-tank weapons. Mixing a heavy machine gun and a mortar is an effective tactic. The machine gun can suppress the infantry. And the mortars, which typically have a difficult time hitting moving units, can easily target the suppressed infantry. Now add an anti-tank gun to the mix for a very powerful force. The machine gun can protect the mortar and the anti-tank gun from infantry, while the anti-tank gun can engage armored vehicles. The Soviets are learning from us. Their powerful mortars and heavy armor give them a strong base for potent combined arms forces.